Hey crafty friends, welcome to day one of my 14 days of Crafty Love 2023 series and today I'm going to be sharing my Valentine's Day stash with you guys. Uh, so I am going to be posting um, a video every day starting today, February 1st and ending on Valentine's Day, February 14th. So I will have... I'll be sharing my stash. I will be doing some embellishments, some cards, um, some altered projects. So stay tuned for these videos every day um, until the 14th of this month to celebrate Valentine's Day. So today I wanted to share my crafty stash with you of all the fun uh, Valentine's Day items that I have. So I have this little uh, tray here from Target. Um, it was in the bullseye section and I have some embellishments in here. Uh, so we'll start with this pocket. I've got some wooden hearts that I could paint up, um, or add washi or anything to. Then I have some of those, uh, Dollar Tree, uh, picks from last year that you can make pa page flags with. I've got some googly eyes in here that's got um, hearts, and these are from Dollar Tree. And then I also have just a stack of these uh, felt hearts that have been in my stash for a while. So I'm hoping to use those this year. And this one here, I've got some erasers from Dollar Tree for uh, Valentine's Day. I've got um, a couple of bows that were gifted to me. I've got these two little page flag embellishments that were um, gifted to me in a swap, I believe last year. Then these were also gifted in a swap and they're these cute um, envelope embellishments with little charms. Here are two more of the little banners. And then I also have some things that I've created. Some tassels, ribbon, and um, embroidery floss. And then I have these little... Um, wire wrapped words from last year. They look like little arrows. It says love. And I realized I spelled a more wrong. <laughs> I just realized that. So I'll have to fix that. But yeah, I have a couple of these. So I've got those to use. So in the next pocket, I have just a bunch of different flowers. I believe these were from Dollar Tree last year. And these are a sticker, I believe, from Jolie. So I have some flowers in there. Then I've got some embellishments in this pocket from my Valentine's Day series last year. A shaker. I've got some of my layered heart embellishments, some of the tags that I did, and these are the uh, altered paper clips. So those were from my series last year, as was these rosettes. So I have some that aren't um, decorated that I had in my stash, and then these guys were decorated already. So I will have these uh, to use this year, which makes things so much easier to have these already done for me. And then in this last one, I've got some flowers, some embellishments, some little ribbons, and these little... Um, scrap clusters, just some tickets, and a couple other little 
embellishments that I did using my scraps. So that is this fun Target tray full of goodies that I have sitting right by my desk. Then I have all of my Valentine's Day stickers in this really cute love letter um, metal mailbox from Target. So I have all my stickers in here. So I have a little baggie with some random little stickers. I've got these that aren't really Valentine's Day, but I like the pinks and the golds. I've got some of these hearts, Hobby Lobby girls, some Dollar Tree wooden hearts, and then these are all Dollar Tree stickers. And then I have three of these with the cute little pears and camera. So these are all living in this cute little bin next to me that I can just easily grab my stickers. And I think it makes it fun for decor to have this with all of my stickers. So we have that. Then I'm actually reusing this hot cocoa stand from Target that they had at Christmas and I plan on covering this because I had two of these. I plan on covering this with some fun scrapbook paper to keep in my room because I love the the tiered effect it has with the different layers. So this top pocket here I just have some uh, packaging, some of these bags from Dollar Tree. I've got some cards that I made for my series um last year and then I also made this embellishment book which is full of embellishment so I can easily send that out for some happy mail next I just have my little container here full of sequins and pre-done up mixes that I can use this year to so make it easy for me to make some sequence mixes. I also have, and I'll only share, I'll share this one because I have a bunch. These sequence mix, I made a couple sequence mixes on my channel for the series last year, and I have some of those left over. And these containers are from the Dollar Tree. Then I have some of these little jimmies from the Dollar Tree that you can glue down with the circles and hearts of different sizes. And then the other things I have, I have all of my little Dollar Tree containers that are full of different things. So this one has... Uh, some paper that had words on it that I just cut out the different words to use on projects as sentiments. Then this one just has a variety of things. These are those little rings of the Dollar Tree and I just trimmed them off. I've got some chipboard pieces, these little heart uh, bands. I've got um, a couple more little wire wrapped words. I've got some wood buttons in here. So lots of fun little bits and bobs in this tray. I've got some different felt pieces in this one. These were left over. I believe they're all from Dollar Tree, I believe. Some of these might be Walmart. I'm not sure. But those were left over from last year. And in this one, I just have a bunch of different stickers. Um, different um, ones that I've gotten off of Amazon. 
Um, you've got the cute little animals. You've got some tags. You got the little fox. So a bunch of different little sticker and ephemeras in here to use. So when I'm making a project, I just pull that drawer out and leave it at my desk. Then I have a bunch of drawers with bows and flowers from my stash. So these guys are from Hobby Lobby. These are all from my stash. So these all are in my room every day. And these are some bows that have been gifted to me. I've got um, a metal key in here. I've got some of these little puffy hearts. So some of these things are in my stash. And some of them came from my Valentine's crafty stash. And then I have some of these stickers here that I want to use up this year. So I'll be using these on some projects. I've got some of the Dollar Tree um, wood veneer roses. And most of the other little embellishments and things are things from my stash. I do have a couple of crocheted hearts that my mom created for me so she created these and I've got some different colors some like uh, uh, mint blues and pinks and different colors so we have that then I have a little basket on my cart that is full of trims so I have ribbons i've got this sparkly red eyelash trim i've got the snowflake trim from dollar tree i've got some foam balls in here and i also have a big thing of different pinks and whites pearl type beads and that sits on my little um, cart and the last thing I have is, of course, my papers. So here is my scraps for my Bow Bunny collection. So I have what's left in my scrap bag there and quite a bit of this left. So I have that and then I also have a few uh, loose sheets of 12 by 12 paper in here as well. Then I have these scraps from this Sweet Talk Michaels um, pad. And I've got quite a bit of this left too. And then the last one that I have, I've got this Pink Paisley Lucky Us um, 6x8 paper pad. And... I also have a few sheets that were gifted to me in a swap. And then this uh, Yours Truly by Pebbles. I have this 6x6 six six paper pad. So I'm all set to start my crafting for Valentine's Day. I have a goal of using up as much of the embellishments and things that I have Um this year so that way I can purchase new things next year but I plan on not purchasing any new things I have everything that I need to start crafting and making fun projects for uh, Valentine's Day so thanks a lot for stopping by for day one of my 14 days of crafty love 2023 series um, I hope you will come back tomorrow for day two um, we will be creating some uh, Valentine's Day cards. So we'll be um, using some of the items that I shared in my stash uh, to create a couple of different sizes of cards. So I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Until then, bye!